What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Equalize Espresso and welcome back to another video here today on the channel. Today, I want to break away and do something that we've done in the past, but have not done any time in the recent history here on the channel. We're going to be taking a look at a bunch of things in mod tools here today in Black Ops 3, and more specifically, five custom zombies maps that I think you guys definitely need to play if you have the PC version, and if you guys do not have the PC version, it's something that honestly, in my opinion, for these maps, I'd probably consider actually getting it. Now, I don't want to sway anybody's opinion too much on that if you don't want to spend the money for it, but I want to showcase some of these maps here on the channel today and bring you guys some information on them and get you guys hyped for maybe some of these that you might fall in love with or maybe just want to check out for yourselves a little bit further. But these are in absolutely no particular order at all. I don't want to make this a ranking system because I have the most equal and utmost respect for every single map here, all the mappers and creators that put their time and effort into these and definitely it's something that I just want to show off and give a little bit more of attention to these that honestly deserve all the attention that they can ever possibly get. These are fantastic maps and honestly if there's a way to port up say custom zombies maps into a firm physical DLC for console players I think that these would definitely make the cut for the first one. So with that said let's jump right into it here with this this first one being Verrucked Remastered. And I know I said no particular order for these, but this map is probably up there for my favorite out of the bunch. It is really, really hard to come by a solid remaster of a map in the custom mapping world, mainly because they take so long to perfect and a lot of the really talented people, which you'll end up seeing in this video, are focused on a lot of their new projects that they have designed and don't really want to go back and do the remastered version of it. But not to mention that in this instance, Verrucked is an iconic map known for close quarters play and more so known for its absolute absolutely chilling atmosphere. And if you're telling me that at one point in time, you didn't come close to needing to change your pants at one point whenever World at War is the primary game when it debuted at Verrucked, you'd be absolutely lying to yourself. Bongo made this one up and it's absolutely brilliant. He used the new engine to his advantage of the map and somehow even amplified the amount of chilling atmosphere. That's something that is not only just hard to do, but almost near impossible in some cases. And Verrucked being so iconic, Definitely was an obstacle here, but he absolutely killed it. So this map plays brilliantly for those curious, and it's available right now on the Steam Workshop, as with all these other maps, save for the last one. Now the next one that I'll talk to you guys about, number two on this list, is called Retribution, created by Bad Sniper 96 This one is a deserted sanctuary that was overrun by the undead. And there's no gobble gum, no thunder gun, and no other small things to create a little bit more of a challenging atmosphere, and it's all close quarters for the most part. It's a mix design-wise of Origins and Mob of the Dead, and there's even a Brutus model and all that will spawn in with that. So there's a ton of custom weapons with this if you guys are interested in that. There's a ton of weapons from Black Ops, Black Ops 2, and Modern Warfare 3. So like I said, if you guys are interested in that, and if you guys are into that whole thing, there's always that for your viewing and playing pleasure. Now there's also 10 perks with this map, Jug Speed, Double Tap, Quick Revive, Mule Kick, Stamina Up, Electric Cherry, Widow's Wine, Dead Shot, and of course, one of the big sellers here on this perhaps is everyone's favorite, PhD Flopper. So this one's absolutely awesome, but we're gonna move on to the third one on the list here today. That is Bunker 10 by my good man, Mad Gaz. He's made so many cool things, and this one is definitely a great one as well. This one's initially intended to be a challenging map of your speed. We're supposed to try and escape as quick as possible. It's basically trying to go from one end to the other, completing it in as quick as possible, but it also can serve as your standard survival map as well, if you wanna play it like that, like a lot of people just enjoy zombies for. But there's also a combination of a number of different rooms and different aesthetics used, such as Ascension, Shinonuma, the buyer rooms from Zetsubonoshima, Buried, a bank vault, the shower block, the keeper room, the caves, the castle, and the sewer system, and all in all, it just makes for some absolutely awesome gameplay varied up in the aesthetics, and it just looks so, so cool. And add that in on top of the high action, fast pace, close quarters, the variable conditions, it's one that I definitely would highly recommend. Now, number four on the list is going to go to Alien Isolation, this one created by my friend Matt Filer, and as we did before, we actually featured this up on the channel about two months ago or so, almost at that three month mark now, but before it was released, we got to featured here up on the channel, which was absolutely awesome, and a huge thank you to him again for that, but I loved it then, and I love it now. It's a close quarters map based upon the Alien universe and following the lineage of the Alien Isolation storyline. It's all close quarters, fear factors in place, and can I mention how awesome the design is on this aesthetically as well? It looks exactly like a space station and something straight from the Alien canon. It is so brilliantly designed, so beautiful, and so much fun, but also so challenging at times as well. 
it's so close quarters and definitely really that heavily factors into the playing experience and something you need to have some skill to bob and weave out of some tough situations at times so it's very challenging but then again so are these other ones as well now the last one here we're going to actually conclude with something that i'm really hyped for but is not out yet these other ones are all once again available on the steam workshop if you want to check it out for black ops 3 if you have the pc version of Black Ops 3, but this next one is called Project Scorch by Studio 935, and it looks to blow minds. Studio 935 is the creation of some great mappers, and they love to play by the canon, so this one should be mad interesting. There's only a 30 second teaser for this one showing it off, and we can't get too much for a feel of what the map is going to be like as a whole, but with the Hell's Retriever and the weapon showcased, They've got my download already, and I'm super, super hyped for this one. Should be coming out in the very near future here for this, probably within the next couple of months here, so that's something that we can definitely look forward to as time goes by. But that is going to wrap up this showcase of five custom zombies maps that I think you guys absolutely must check out. They're so awesome, so great, and definitely I think that you guys will enjoy them, especially if you have the PC version of Black Ops 3. So that said, hopefully you guys did enjoy. Leave your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. Which of these looks to be your favorite? And if you guys are not on PC, would you guys like to maybe one day see these come to console versions, say as a creative DLC created by the community for the community and then just ported upwards by Triarch and Activision? I think that'd be so cool. I don't know if it'll ever happen, but leave your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like down below. And of course, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe to stay up to date with everything Call of Duty wise, Black Ops 3, Infinite Warfare, Modern Warfare Master, COD 2017, all that good stuff. We got you covered here up on the channel. But if you guys want to follow me over on Twitter to stay connected. Twitter is the best place to get connected with me here outside of YouTube. I practically live on Twitter, so if you guys want to strike up a conversation, ask me a question, whatever it may be, feel free to drop a follow. Link is down there in the description below. And finally, one last thing here, if you guys want to check out either of the two videos on screen right now, one will take you to a video discussing the ENB mod for Call of Duty 2 and some other Call of Duty titles that makes it pure lifelike, pure realistic, and some absolutely fantastic graphics. And then one will discuss what is coming up in Infinite Warfare in what will be tomorrow's update. So thank you dude so much for watching. Hopefully you guys are having a great day. My name is Nicolai Espresso. I will see you guys later. Take care and peace.